Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make our eczema salad recipe, or as we like to call it, goop. There's a few things that you're going to want to have on hand, obviously, to start making your goop. So we use a four ounce container to hold it. It will fill it all the way up. Also, you need a kitchen scale that can measure grams. You're going to want a metal bowl that you can use for a double boiler. We use this metal bowl only for making goop because sometimes it won't get it all the way clean. And it's not a big deal if it's for goop, but if we're putting food in it, I don't want that in the goop. A silicone spatula to help you pour into your goop container. You're also gonna want something to stir your goop. I just use a toothpick. Something that you can stir your goop with without getting your finger or something burned because you are going to be stirring hot oil. You'll also just need a little bit of space in your fridge, a flat space in your fridge for it to cool. We do prefer our goop to cool in the fridge because it gives it a better texture. Um, it keeps it more salvy. Whereas if we left it out on the counter and let it cool that way, it took longer, but it also got more of a granulated consistency that eventually would melt, but it was a little bit harder and bumpier to put on. You're also going to need a pot to use to make your double boiler, obviously. And I would suggest having some sort of like pot holder to put your goop on because it's going to be very hot when you get it off and you don't want to burn yourself or your counter. If you have marble or granite counters, it probably doesn't matter, but if you're going to put it in your fridge, you don't want to melt your shelf. First, you'll need 30 grams of organic shea butter. I tried to use organic ingredients for the eggs in the south because the whole point of it was to try to avoid any triggers that would cause flare-ups. So you guys make your decision on that, but we used organic for most of this stuff. We get this shea butter from Amazon for a pretty good price. I don't remember how much it is, but I will show it in the description. And you guys can find it there if you need some. All right. That's 30 grams. I have a couple spoons on hand because they tend to get kind of gooped up between item to item. Next, we add 30 grams of calendula oil. We make our own by adding 80% um, of organic calendula flowers to a jar, and then the other 20% is filled. Woo! The other 20% of the jar is filled with organic chamomile, and then you just put sunflower oil in it to fill it up and set it in the windowsill for a couple weeks and it's fine. Or you can make it in a slow cooker by slow cooking it for a few hours and it's good to go that way too if you need it faster than a couple weeks. I actually ended up adding 35 grams of calendula oil there because we used to add 5 grams of neem oil. You can use that. We stopped using neem oil because it got hard to buy and found that she didn't really need it. So I just add the extra 5 grams of either coconut oil or calendula oil, whichever one you like better. I'm uh, doing this. Do you want to kiss? Next, we're going to add 30 grams of organic coconut oil. We just get ours at Costco because since we make the goop quite frequently, um, it's easier to just get a big one of it. And the Kirkland one has been really good. Ooh, it's a little extra. Good enough. <laughs> All right, I gotta put it down for a second. Oh, and last, we're going to add the beeswax. So we do 15 grams of organic beeswax pellets. We use the pellets because they're faster to melt. Okay, so that is where we're at. We've got our oils, our shea butter, and the beeswax, and that's all you need for this part. 
Then you get it into your double boiler. So we'll start doing that now. Okay, now we're gonna melt it all together. So you pour in your water. Um, so fill up the pot probably a quarter of the way. I guess it depends on your pot size and your bowl size, but it's a pretty deep bowl, so I don't want the water to touch it. It's barely touching it now. I think it'll be okay. You want to have a bit of water in there because it's going to boil down and you don't want to have to fill it up every five minutes. Once it starts boiling, give it a little stir so that your pellets start to melt and it will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes depending on how hot your stove gets. So make sure you come back to it every once in a while and give it a stir. Um, I'm using this toothpick to stir it and that helps kind of get the beeswax pellets to start melting a little bit better. All right, so it's melted now, so I'm gonna take it off. Make sure you use an oven mitt to get it off because it will burn you. And set it aside on the counter. Okay, so now you want to pour your goop into your container. Then you can just use your spatula to try to get the last little drips. I'm going to set that here because it is still very hot. Hey guys, sorry the camera cut out at this point, so I'm jumping in to tell you that this is where you need to add your essential oils. We add 15 drops of lavender essential oil and 15 drops of tea tree oil. Give it a stir with your toothpick or whatever you're using to stir your goop and then put it in the fridge. The tea tree oil, I think, acts as a bit of an antiseptic on the skin, which can be useful because you want to make sure that the skin stays pretty clean when your baby has eczema. So you definitely don't want too much tea tree oil because it is very potent and it's one of those that you don't want a lot of on the skin but a bit could be useful to just help as keeping the skin clean while you are adding moisture. You can leave it in the fridge for 20 minutes at minimum, um, up to overnight. It really doesn't matter how long you leave it. Just when you do get it out, put your lid on and you're good to go. Back to the previously recorded footage of goop making. This is our finished scoop. It's ready to use and this will last us usually about two weeks, this one little container. Um, I think that the ingredients cost us 80 or $90 up front to buy the first time, but then they lasted us for a year. So for us, that's been really cost effective. Compared to everything else that we were buying for her skin before, it was costing us about $25 every two weeks. So $80 for a year, definitely not bad. And I don't really have a problem putting this on her skin if I have to put it on multiple times a day because we have a flare up spot or something. It's not a big deal because I know all the ingredients that are in it and I trust the ingredients in it. So I don't mind putting this on multiple times a day or putting it on really sensitive areas. If you end up making some of the scoop for yourself or your kids, please leave a comment below and let me know how it works for you and if you like it. If you come up with any modifications of different oils or different amounts of oils, that could be interesting. And if you do that, please also let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and YouTube will save it in your liked video so that you can always come back and remember how to make it later. If you haven't already, please push the red subscribe button so that you can see more of our videos easily and click that little dingy bell because then it will actually tell you when a video comes out and hopefully it will be useful for you. Something like goop or something else in the future that is relevant for your life. Thanks for watching. See you next time.